Today we'd like to show you how RTIs connects based on the DDS standard and real-time operating system and hypervisor Pico S can be used within trains. This is Train Simulator. We have given it a control system on basis of our both technologies. But first, let's have a look at the setup and architecture. The laptop is connected to a Xilinx Ultra Skateboard with a powerful ARM Cortex A53 running Pico S and a real-time capable ARM Cortex R5 running Pico S for MPU. An application on the Windows laptop is using RTI Connex Professional to publish data from Train Simulator and subscribe to Train Control Data. Similarly, there is a Connex micro application running on a POSIX partition on Pico S that subscribes to this Train Simulator data and publishes Train Control Data. These applications dynamically discover each other through a shared interest in this data. There is no connection management, startup dependencies or central configuration. DDS provides reliable data transfer over UDP. On the Cortex R5 there is a train regulation that is based on the ANSYS gate system. The regulation tries to bring the train speed back to the preset value. This works via PicoS and PicoRes for MPU sending and receiving data via intercore communication. Our control consists of two proportional integral regulators, one for the acceleration and the other one for the brake. A finite state machine selects the current control. RTI provides a suite of tools with Connex to help develop, analyze and debug a running DDS system. Here we have the admin console, which allows you to visualize how running DDS application interact through data. On the left side you have a logical view of your system, which shows the DDS domains on your network and the data topics being used. Also, there is a physical view that is showing the host machines and applications with DDS connectivity. This diagram shows the Windows PC hosting the Connex Professional application that controls Train Simulator and the embedded device running Connex Micro on Pico S. They have bi-directional connectivity through two data topics, one for the simulator data and one for control data. Looking at the sim data topic, we can see that the Windows app writes to this topic and the embedded application subscribes to this topic. Similarly, if we look at the control data topic, we can see that the embedded application publishes to this topic and the Windows application subscribes to this topic. These applications are dynamically connected and begin exchanging data through a shared understanding and interest in these data. Similarly, we can subscribe to these data topics with Admin Console. Now let's go back to Train Simulator and enjoy the picturesque landscape of the Rhine Gorge. We are about to leave the station. Back in the admin console we see two graphs, one for the acceleration, the other one for the brake. Once we have started, both graphs will apply to what the regulation is doing. Now we are going to move the train. We have preset the speed value to 60 miles per hour. On the graphs you see the live DDS data communicated over the network. You can see as we set the target speed the control model adjusts the current speed of the train which is captured here over DDS. Above we can view the log of sample updates including sample meter data. The combination of PicoS and RTI's Connext enables real-time capable, functionally safe networked embedded systems. 